Turning now to the ongoing trial into the murder of Stephen Lawrence. Today, the jury's been hearing about the spiteful and damaging behaviour of a detective sergeant in charge of collating exhibits for the case. It's alleged in 2008 he deliberately tampered with computer records related to the current murder investigation. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Guy Smith, has this report. Met Detective Paul Steed was responsible for collating all the evidence in the current Stephen Lawrence murder trial. Today the jury heard he deliberately spoiled a computer record. His work had to be scrapped and another detective start all over again analysing the movement of key exhibits over the past 18 years. In cross-examination, the new detective said Steed had done some good work. The defence asked... But in fact he behaved in a completely spiteful and damaging way towards this inquiry? That could be said, yes sir. He deliberately interfered with a computer software presentation of the continuity of exhibits and sabotaged it so it was impossible for anyone coming after him to follow through the continuity of certain exhibits? Yes, he did that. Then he changed it back. Steed changed exhibit reference numbers because he was going to be thrown off the high-profile case. He'd been convicted in Spain for assault. Teenager Stephen Lawrence was stabbed twice near a bus stop in Eltham in April 1993. Gary Dobson and David Norris are accused of his murder. This morning, the jury was told evidence bags in storage were checked in 2001 for any damage. Several of the seals had deteriorated. This case is based on new scientific evidence. So far this week, we've also been hearing how specific clothing belonging to Stephen Lawrence and the two defendants were handled since the murder 18 years ago. The jury has to decide whether that new evidence is reliable or whether it's been contaminated. The exhibits have been moved many times around police stations and forensic laboratories. Tomorrow we'll hear from the scientists who discovered fibres and even a tiny blood stain on the collar of Gary Dobson's jacket. Neville and Doreen Lawrence are expected to attend court as usual. Guy Smith, BBC London News, The Old Bailey.